Thank the leadership of the church, Apostle, together with his team. May the Lord bless you. We thank the other visitors we met here. Our sisters and the pastor. So happy to be with you today. Amen. Amen. Again, we thank the choir that we came with. Came to worship the Lord together. We are in the conference of revival. And there are words we are about to share with you. Reading first Ephesians three, chapter one, verse three. Imana umami watu Yesu Kristo ariona se ishimwe kuko yaduhere muri Kristo imigisha yose yomumuka yomunjuru kuko yadutora nije muri we isitarare mna. Amen. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. In Christ, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Amen. Amen. Uh, this conference, it is a revival conference. The topic, it is the ble spiritual blessings found in Jesus Christ. That's how it is written on the, the post. Normally, when a blessing comes, it comes with revival. And when a revival comes, it comes with blessing. When there is a revival, there is blessing. When there is a blessing, there is also revival. Meaning that we are in a conference of revival with a topic of the blessings found in Jesus Christ. And that's what we're going to speak about. Amen. Say amen. Again. Again, hallelujah. Again, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul is the one who wrote to the Ephesians. This letter to the Ephesians, we're not going to comment on it a lot. What he wanted to say, he wanted to talk about the church in Christ and the Christ in the church. This is what this letter speaks about. Church in Christ and Christ in the church. And that is revival. Singer sang. That's what Apostle Paul wrote. To God the blessings. Have, I mean, Father Godly 
blessing. And wrapped them in Christ Jesus. And gave us Christ Jesus. Meaning when we get across, God all the blessings. When we haven't found Christ yet, there's no heavenly blessings that we possess. The heavenly blessings are in two, in two categories. There are spiritual blessings and physical blessings. So many people they normally uh, consider spiritual life only, but then they don't consider the physical life and it matches along. Spirit lives in a body. And the blessings of the spirit when they undergo with the physical blessings it works better. So let's speak about this blessing in a very short moment in a very limited words. So we're going to manage our time. Blessings that God offers in Christ Jesus. The first blessing that we read here it is the blessing that turns us to be children of God. The blessing that makes us to be children of God. There is a blessing that makes us children of God. That's what we're going to talk about. And if possible, we'll talk, we'll talk about the others. But let's talk about the blessing that makes us the children of God. In the Garden of Eden, that's where a person lost God after he has sinned. But again, yes. Jesus brought back the blessing we lost. We lost a very special blessing. A very amazing blessing. A blessing closer to God. A blessing where God visited men. It was a blessing where a man got an opportunity to speak with God. Where God will visit a person. Where God will visit a person even without reading. It was a visit Visitation from God without any sacrifice, without any offering, without any effort. It's an amazing blessing. Amen. It's a blessing that Adam had to speak always with God. But as he was speaking with God, and then he sinned eventually. And then he lost the presence and the glory of God. And he lost the fellowship with God. The, the cover of God. He lost the presence of God in his life. And after losing all of that, a person lives in sin forever. Now because of the love that God loves a man, after Adam sinned, he was chased out of the garden of Eden so that he would never eat the fruit of life and live forever. And then a person lives in sin forever. And when God finds that a man should not live in sin forever, he removed him out of the garden. That was the garden of Eden. And he did that with his purpose. Took him in the world. So he would protect him there. So he would protect him there. And as he was still there, God spoke a word over him. And he spoke a word over a person. He said, this son of man will again 
come back to me to be my child and I will again bring back him and he will have the audacity from me and God took all the blessings wrapped them in Christ Jesus and then he sent him to us blessing I was talking about sent the blessing that made him children the person is a child in a home he has all the right of his home he has the right to the inheritance he has the right to go for he has the right to take whatever nobody will be afraid he takes meaning what God gave us hallelujah to them and put them in Christ and then give us Christ meaning today we got the inheritance of God because we became the children of God today we got the testimony because we became the children of God today we got God because we are the children of God. Jesus brought something valuable more than any other thing. Something more vital more than anything. He, he made us children. We are far away from promises. We are far away from the inheritance. We are far away from life. But then Christ brought everything of God and made it of us. That's why today because we became the children of God we got the fear of God. Because Jesus gave us all the blessings and gave it to us and gave it totally to us. We are the children of God. One man said a man or a woman but Paul said it as well that when he gave it him to us how will he not give him to us with everything else the valuable things that God gave us was Christ Jesus in the blessings of God after God gave it to us he gave us every other thing which is the second blessing when God gave us Jesus made us children the word in that blessing God took everything of his and gave it to us that's the second one in that he gave us amen in all the blessings that he gave us, that's what we call joy. 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 Gladness. A person lost joy without anything to make him joy. And losing joy, a person was wicked forever. Now, because of losing joy, the person was filled of sorrow. But then God, through Jesus Christ, brought us joy. And we rejoice in today. And we sing. And we lift up high We've got the joy of the Lord. 
We were people in pain and struggle. But when we think about this joy of God, and then sorrow vanquishes away, and then complaints and lamentations, where there is joy, problems vanquish. Where there is joy, people rejoice. God gave us joy as a blessing through Christ Jesus. Second word, and all that God gave us, he gave us peace. Singers, they say he gave me peace. This is peace. This is peace. Good peace found in Jesus Christ. Nothing else can give us peace. Only Jesus Christ. He alone can give peace. When a person lacks peace, their heart gets peace. When their heart is stressed, it kicks away peace. To be in a world without peace, but to be in Christ Jesus and then with peace to be in a world without peace now that you are in Christ Jesus you got peace Jesus told it to his disciples and he said I'm sending you in the midst of war you are like sheep now think of war but you are like sheep in other words wolf can eat sheep but sheep they can live in the world and then get peace this peace is the blessing of God found in Jesus Christ this peace he who has it although the trouble is there's no problem. Hallelujah. Where there is this peace, there is no lamentation. Where there is the peace, life becomes good. Where there is peace, a person rejoices. A singer says, Get Jesus. Get Jesus. However, I will say, I am happy. Jesus gave me a measure of Jesus gave me a measure of peace. I am resting. Because of peace. Hallelujah. Person passes. Because of peace. The person rejoices. Because of peace. The blessing found in Jesus Christ. The earthly people. The earthly people. Sing a sang. Say there is no peace for the sinner. That's what the Lord says. The blessings found in Jesus. Gives blessing. Gives peace. And another singer sang and said, I am peaceful. As the Lord loves me, I am peaceful. By his fullness of mercy, I'm peaceful. I'm cleansed by his blood. And as he's holding me with his arms, I am peaceful. To be in Christ Jesus. Christ gets in you. That is peace. That is peace. You say amen. You know the reason why people don't have peace? You find them, they don't have peace at all. Find they've got few, I mean, small peace. Because they don't understand the uh, word of Where there is revival. People get peace. Where are you? Because uh, revival. No murir. It is a fire. And the fire is He's not afraid of anything. The fire will never be afraid of the butterfly. Know that the, the courts are getting closer to me. Say, so if I burn a lot, I'm peaceful. I'm peaceful. 
Now that Jesus Christ is with me, I'm peaceful. And all the blessings that God gave us, He gives us peace. The what the world means, means the peace. Everything is out of peace. And there's no other place to find the peace. I mean, Great weapon can never give peace. The UN Sierra can never give peace. Great degrees can never give peace. A lot of kids can never. Money can never either. Whatever you think can never provide peace. But the only place where peace is found, only the blessings found in Jesus. Look at Jesus. And then you gotta get peace. You know everything that the Lord gave us. He gave us love. In other words, there are some of the things we sing, but we don't believe them. Oh, we just sing them as sounding melodious. I thought about it as I was sitting there. He took all the blessings. Not even one left. All the blessings in godly. How can he take all the blessings and in godliness in other words meaning God stayed with no blessing because Jesus took all of them and it was packed in him it was packed in him and after packing them in Jesus he was given to us God doesn't need a blessing because he is the blessing. We need the blessings. Another person that God made the blessing was Abraham. Abraham God told him Abraham I'm making you a blessing. He who will wish you a blessing will be blessed. And he who will curse you because you are a blessing will be cursed. And all the nations in the world through you they will find blessing. And there is no other way to find blessing apart from passing through Abraham. Can you say amen? Because in Abraham, that's where we've got all the blessings. And the blessings through Abraham, it is Christ Jesus. Jesus is the blessing in all of those blessings. We've got love. God the love through Abraham. All the love through Christ Jesus. Can you say amen? Amen. When we talk about love, it is something very great. But it's one of the blessings that we received in Jesus Christ. It is in all the blessings, it's one. Now, when we receive the love, as blessing received, he again, so that it was possible that we needed life. What we were chased for in Eden. You are so we can't eat the tree of life and no, live no, forever and live in a sinful life or in sorrow and pain forever. But when Jesus came back, and he was about to bring. Brought about something we lost. Which was life eternal. In all the blessings that God gives. The greatest of all the blessings. It was the life eternity. 
Now that we receive the life, it was the blessing of God, and which is great. And this blessing, hey, yeah, hallelujah. Can you say amen? We receive the life. Just not to receive life in the garden. But when Jesus came, he gave us life. Today, we are free. Today, we are peaceful. Today, we are rejoicing. Today, we are in love. The reason we are in that it is because we have life. Yes, we get a Gira Mugawumi, Abachi Mugani. Jesus told some somebody as he was giving them the power of all. And he said, Men cultivate the field and harvest it. And while the the seed were mature, and he said, How, What will I do with this? I've gotten a lot of seed. What should I do? What do I have and then he asked in himself, and he told to himself, and he said, I need to build a house and take all the seed that I will have. And after gathering all, put them in a stock. And then he took all of them and after building the stock and after having the great stock he talked to his heart. He said, my heart rejoice eat and be merry because you've got fullness of everything and that same day a voice came you say you dying that night a voice came and say you dying he was telling the heart rejoice and be very glad mother but a voice taking with snatching life from you. And the Bible asks the question. What did it profit him? And then he said this word. And then he said, what will profit a man? If he gained the whole world. As his heart desires. Everything he needs. But then lose his soul. And then he said a very good word. He said, soul. Life. It is greater than food. Life. It's better than clothing. Life. It's better than money. Life. It's better than what you think. Life. It's more than Life. It's greater than anything. Life in everything. It's very vital. Christ Jesus. He gave us life. We are alive today. And even when we get here, there's three. Which is the tree of life. We will get close. The Bible says he will conquer. Hallelujah. He will conquer. He who will conquer will eat that tree of life. Unesha. He who conquers will eat that tree of God. In the paradise of God. Because it was translated. It was transferred. In the new paradise. Today. You're waiting for that tree of life. And which Jesus brought. He brought the blessing of life. I will never perish no, yes, will I die. because Jesus died on my behalf. I will never perish nor die. I will never be condemned. Yes, Jesus died on my behalf. What he called his love, he took it. 
and exchange it and he, he, he was my put my behalf and gave me life imagine he exchanged the things which can never be exchanged now people will try to exchange things to some value in a, almost same value but Jesus exchanged the contrary. If you take the chair of plastic and you exchange it with a wood chair, that's almost the same. But what Jesus exchanged, he took his life. To us. And he took our death and put it on him. Today, as Jesus died, we've got life. How are you exchange? There is an exchange. What we've got, it was death. What we had, it was what we had it was to stay in the hands of the devil but Jesus did something awesome he did something vital and gave us a blessing took death and took it away from us. he took life and gave it to us he took life he took death we do not need to fear because the penalty of death he took it away and gave us life now because of Jesus we've got the, the, the suit of life we no longer have the suit of death but the suit and the jacket of life we do not have the power of death, but the power of life because what would kill us he gave us and we took it, he took us from there and now we are in the heavenly places with God amen can you lift your hands amen Jesus gave us life which is one of the blessings God sent God took life he packed it in Jesus and he sent him to us when Jesus came came with joy came with peace came with love and covered it with love and gave it to us after he conquered everything he prayed and he said the glory I had before bring it back to me the honor that I had when I'm about to join you Restore it back. But then he told us a word. That this is eternal life. That they should know that you are. And the one you sent Jesus Christ. This is life. That they will know you God. That this is eternal life. That you are the true God. Hallelujah. There is eternal life. Knowing Jesus. Knowing what he did. Knowing what God did. He got eternal life. Amen. This is eternal life. And they should know you. Normally. The poverty we've got. It is the ignorance not knowing Jesus. The great poverty we've got. Is not to know Jesus. When you know Jesus. 
you will sleep assured. And you say in Jesus, everything that I lack, it is found in him. In Jesus, everything that I need, it is in him. In Jesus, Nothing I will lack. Now that I have nothing. Now that I have nothing. Because Jesus is not poor. Now that I'm rich. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. Amen. Amen. See the word of God.